BM Scotty's Tilescapes, the isometric terrain system. Craft them all. Wow your friend. Well, hello, crafters. Today the word is crenellations. Can you say that with me? Crenellations. Yeah. Hey, guys. Uh, welcome to another Tilescapes. This is a, a, to enhance your dungeon blocks, right? And, you know, I want to show what you can do with these dungeon blocks. You can transform them into a bunch of things that you don't need to have specific things, right? That was kind of the idea of these dungeon blocks. You can make them castle walls. You can make them towers. You can make them boats. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm coming for. From here and so let's make some crenellations for those dungeon blocks and show you how easy it is to transform them into castle walls all right crafters I got some of that pink uh, foam you put on houses right it's a half an inch thick and I'm using a very sharp razor knife to cut that and that's an inch wide strip okay so now I've cut these. They're uh, since they're a half an inch uh, thick, a uh, inch wide, and an inch and a quarter tall. Okay, and I add some use some uh, uh, aluminum foil there. You can see to add some detail in there. If you don't know that trick, just push it into the surface. Now this is a piece of foam core I've cut. It's a hat. It's a inch and three quarters wide, and this is for uh, the walkway on top of the crenellations. I'm adding stonework here and I've taken the paper off and I'm just pushing into the foam core itself and just do the details of the brickwork and that kind of thing. Uh, I can use the, the foil to add some more texture and uh, then I'll just uh, highlight the lines a little more, you know, push in a little more once I get I'm happy with them. And you can also do some uh, Degradation, you can do some cracks and that kind of thing. Some damage. All that fun stuff. Give it, uh, give it a nice uh, texture. And then I'm going to glue this uh, inch and three quarter onto a two and a quarter inch wide piece of foam core. And the foam core uh, is, a little, is a little wider than I usually would, you might have it because the dungeon blocks are a little bigger than two inches. So I've got this uh, half inch strip here, right? And I'm going to put uh, f those four crenellations on it. Now I'm doing a detail for the crenellations. And uh, these are just a half inch wide. Okay. I'm going to cut these. And I've taken the paper off. And I'm just going to cut a little point on the top there. A little texture. And they're good to go. So I've got all four crenellations on there. And I'm going to add this little detail here. hot glue and there we go makes it nice and secure as well as gives it a cool detail I'll put the rest on now here's a piece I'm going to use but to put between the crenellations so I'm going to kind of hold it up to the crenellation measure how big it is and then pop it on there see if it fits it does and I kind of want to slant up to the walkway right and that's how I'm going to do it so I'm going to put glue at the top of the bottom and then kind of slant it there now I'll do the other ones cool Drawing some extra stonework in now that I've got those pieces on. And cool. Now I'm going to add some uh, white glue on this. And this will secure the piece together as well as seal it uh, when we spray paint it black. So I like, to, I like this as a sealer and as it helps uh, secure the piece together. It gets all those pieces nice and locked together, right? Cool. Now I spray painted it flat black and it's ready to go. Cool. Okay, now I'm going to use my gray and uh, just acrylic craft paint. It's very wet, putting it on very wet. See, it's kind of even dripping there. Just fill it all in. All right, nice. Okay, now I'm going to use some burnt sienna and tan, kind of stipple that on the wet surface. And that'll give me a nice uh, kind of stone look. So it's not just a homogenous kind of stone. You know, it looks it looks uh, you know like it has different colors in it. Very cool. Very cool. All right, looking good. 
Neat. All right, now this right, I'm going to put some uh, black on here, and this is just a wash of black, just very wet black. And uh, we'll let that dry up, and I'll put some highlights on it. We'll be done. So we have Roderick and Hilga coming up the road, demanding to be let into the uh, castle. Don't you know who I am? I'm Roderick the Ranger. So here's our setup. I think it really looks cool. And uh, accreditations came out really nice. And let's pull that off for a sec, take a closer look. Uh, hey, buddy, you'll have to sit down here for a minute. There we go. And wow, look at the detail. I think it really looks nice. Nice uh, room on the walkway there. Uh, nice battle damage to the crenellations. A little bit of battle damage on there. Um, just super easy, and they really transform the dungeon blocks into a castle wall. And it's totally modular. I love how you can just take it all apart. And uh, yeah, so here's the dungeon block. And if you're not familiar with the dungeon blocks, check out my other video on those, my other Tilescape vid. And uh, I really like these uh, buttresses too I made. I'm going to do a video here soon on those also. So there we go. I hope you like this uh, addition to the dungeon blocks uh, terrain, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, I want to talk to you for a second about one of my youngest fans, and her name is Grace, and she's four years old. And she's helping her daddy make terrain, right? This is so awesome. I love this. This is the stuff kids are going to remember. They're not going to remember that toy you bought them, and they threw in the, they played with for 15 minutes and threw it in the, in the toy box. They're going to remember sitting down, she's going to remember sitting down with her daddy and having fun creating something neat. And she loves my videos, she loves to craft, and her daddy obliges her. And here's a picture of her, uh, her mommy's foot got stuck in the picture, which I think is funny in the bottom right there. And here's another picture of her with the tilescape. So, Grace, uh, I hope you have a lot of fun with your daddy crafting. Go forth and craft and keep watching those vids. Take care now.